Yo, what's going on, guys? Um, so, there's something that I still hadn't gotten around to watching uh, that uh, I've waited a minute for. Um, I forgot about, but Black Myth Wukong, the game, you know, that we've been looking forward to for a while, at least I definitely have. I don't know what's going on on the screen over there, but don't worry about it. Uh, new gameplay footage and stuff, I did not end up watching. I want to see what's new here for this. Uh, this is a game that I'm really hyped for, really excited to check out when it comes out. Um, what? What is that? Yeah. Okay, turn this down some so there's no echo. Ooh! What the heck, dude? Like, I, I, it feels like this is one of those games where I, I need to stop watching stuff on it. That way I don't see too much. But at the same time, I need more. Like, every time that I see something new on this, it's like, I, I gotta check it out, you know? Because Black Myth and Kong, this is one of those games that just looks... It looks too good to be true, in a way. Because how good and amazing this game looks. Um, I, I need a, like, release window, though. Like, where is a release window? Like, I just want, like, a year or something, you know? Obviously, it probably isn't this year. If I had to guess, though, this game's probably going to come out in 2023. Because this game... They, they've, they've been showing more recently than they used to. And I think this game was revealed in, like, 2020. So... I don't know. I feel like the last time we got gameplay wasn't all that long ago. It was definitely, I think, like, under six months. The last time that we've seen gameplay for this game. But now we're really getting, like, heavy gameplay in this trailer here, which is pretty cool. This gameplay trailer. If I had to guess, that's a checkpoint. If I had to take a guess. But I don't know. This game does look freaking sweet, man. Especially being, like, a Souls fan person, you know? It's just one of those things, but it's, like, so much more unique. As something... Different, in a way, of, like, if you're, like, a Wukong-type fan and... And stuff, like, this, th this stuff is just... It's just sick, you know? The Monkey King. All that. You ever see that movie with Jackie Chan and, and Jet Li? That had the Monkey King? That was a pretty good movie. Um, I, I, at the moment, I can't think of the name of the movie off the top of my head at the moment. Uh, but that was a really fun movie. Wait, what? Touch something in the ground and an enemy came out. That's... That's actually... Uh, interesting. Okay. Simple combat. I don't think he's going to do too much anything against this this thing but I don't know it's not your average small enemy though hmm. oh what was that like a poison of sorts interesting Okay. All right. Oh, inventory. Oh, hey, yo. Go buy some stuff. Showing us a little a little book of some gallery. Okay, that's for enemies that you that are new that you discover and stuff. Okay, yeah. Yep, makes sense. Makes sense. The art design, the the art direction for this game is really well done. It does give me, like, a little bit of even Elden Ring vibes when it comes to, like... I don't know if this is open at all, or if it is kind of linear the way Dark Souls is. Because I get a vibe of both, but I feel like it might be more linear. I think it's more linear. I mean, it's definitely not open world the way Elden Ring is. I think it's uh, more linear. But I don't know how heavy story-based it is. I feel like it might not be heavy, like, story-based. It might be like Dark Souls where you have to, like, look up the lore and figure out the lore yourself as you play the game kind of thing. You know? 
What is that? Is that a dragon? That's some kind of neat looking dragon. Okay. Boss fight. A dragon fight. There's a few of those, I think, in this game. Dang, the design of that dragon's freaking sick, dude. Like, really going through that Chinese dragon mythology there. Like, dude, that's so sick. With the red, like, the antlers. I just like that design overall. I really like that design. Oh, whoa! Its tail does like a little spinny thing. Like, like you know. That. <clears throat> okay, what do they use? You have abilities on the left and you have abilities on the right, and uh, Foolish Me didn't. It's actually kind of expanded, so you can't really see the uh, one side here, but um. Basically, there's abilities on the right side over here, but you can't really see you can't see them because of things that are expanded here right now. Well, there's abilities on the right side, and there's stuff on the left side for Wukong to use. I might be able to fix that actually. Um, hold up. Actually, never mind. I'm just gonna pay attention to the gameplay. You don't need to see everything. Well, he turned into. Wait, 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 wait. He turned. What happened there? How did he. Did he use an ability? I think so. Yeah, there's the tail spinny thing. Wait, what? What even? It looks like a rock, but what? 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 That's crazy. That's actually crazy. That's actually crazy. You know what? This this right here. Like the breaking of parts and stuff like that. That gave me Monster Hunter vibes right there with the dragon. So there's a little bit of Monster Hunter-y type vibes in there too. Even if you only have like one weapon with different abilities and stuff. Like, I don't know. I really want to play this. I, I really, I, I really just, I really just want a release window. I don't need a date. I just need a window. Give us an idea on when this is coming out. How did like 20 people make this game? Oh, okay. Black Myth Wukong. Can we get like a window? Please. Something. There's more. chest okay heishenua.com we're actually gonna go check that out really quick okay so I've been here before wait is there more here Six minutes in-game cutscene? So this was another thing. They released more? This is... I think this one's different. I thought this was the same one. But no, this one's different. Whoa. Okay. So we got even more on Black Myth Wukong here. If it would load for me. The website is kind of not... All right, let's go back to YouTube. Hold on. It's this one right here. All right, cool. All right, so, seems there's another trailer for this game. Wow, okay. What did I miss? I missed a lot here. 
And wait, I just kind of forgot about this, but like it was in the back of my head of something that I wanted to look at. Man, I need this game, dude. Like, when are we gonna get a release window? Maybe they're just waiting till they have an actual date. So they're ready for an actual date. Because like, so many people are ready for this game. Wow, okay. Man, this is so sick. Wow, like... That's probably the old lady I've seen in the thumbnail. No, it's not. Okay. I hope this is actual in game. I hope this is actual in game cutscene. It is in game. It is in game. It is in game. Wow. This is all in game. Is this whole thing a cutscene? That's actually impressive, then. I say that because, like, that means that this might be more story-driven than I thought. Because I thought this would be less story-driven. But I could be wrong here. I, I think I'm wrong here. Ji 不论强弱输赢，都是机缘巧现编织的宿命。姐姐，你我当时都未出生，不曾见母亲用过的情，自然也参不透她今日的痴心。是不那边？走一步看一步吧。借来的。So this cutscene has nothing to do with the actual character Wu Feng, or maybe it does have to do with Wu Feng, but. I don't... Okay, it's you that's sitting... That might be him sitting there. I don't know. Is that a first person? That's cool. Don't look at his eyes. This is so freaking cool, man. Like, there's no gameplay here, but like, like the vibe, the music, everything going on. I don't know. It's just one of those games. That I'm like, I need it now. But I've been saying that for a while now, this game. Okay, there's the lady that's in the thumbnail. Alright. Gotcha. Whoever she may be. It said this is in game, though. So I'm assuming this is at like the beginning. Because I'm not expecting there to be cut tons and tons of cutscenes the way that this is. Because. I don't know. Because I'm like, I didn't think this game would be heavy story driven, but maybe. Is 
that it? Oh yeah, I think that's it. Yeah, Blackbird Wukong. Oh, there's a little something here. Spider. Ah. Okay. Ooh. Okay, so there's a little bit more of some stuff on the website, like an overview and different things, but no release window or date or anything yet still. Um, I mean, it's a game made by like 20 people, so like this is something that takes a long time, I can tell, um, especially for such a small team. But um, I, anytime there's more on this game, it's essentially definitely something that I like to check out, and it's not going to ruin my experience at all by seeing more on this game. I just want some kind of release window already. 2023 is my get my guess is the game will come out before the end of 2023 if i had to just take a guess because it's looking great every time that they show stuff on it very promising but it, it, i'm i'm not worried about the game you know it, it could be 2024 for all we know because of the such a small team but i think this game was announced a couple years ago so it's definitely uh something that i'm looking forward to it's something that uh, anytime there's new stuff on it it's something that i always want to check out because this is my type of game being a from software fan this it's not from software obviously but it's it's got that style of a game that i really want to play so anyways guys if you did enjoy this video uh let me know what you think of black myth wukong as a game because i think it looks just too good to be true it looks amazing and uh yeah, like the video if you enjoyed, subscribe to the channel, and I will see you guys all in the next video. Later.